It is that time of the year again, where I'm giving a progress update on the LEGO theme park project. Nearly every module has been updated or completely rebuilt this year, which is why I'm going to take everything one by one, starting with the haunted house here on the corner. The haunted house has recently been rebuilt. Now it's using a LEGO Technic hub instead of the old NXT, so that I can use the new or the fairly new video sensor for distance instead of the light sensor that I had inside, and so that I can use three motors for the haunted house itself, one for the outer track, one for the inner track, and one for the left. The old NXT version used two motors and a sensor, the light sensor inside instead of outside on the track, and the motors, one for both tracks, and the other one just for the tower. Now this was unfortunately not super reliable because of this randomized entrance mechanism, which I'm also using in the coffee shop which is also unreliable. But let's take a look at how the new one is working instead. So let's turn it on and focus on this place right here. You can see that it can raise and lower. So it raises and it lowers. And then the outer track starts and the doors open. Now it doesn't know if anyone is inside, so it just clears the module first. Now it's ready for a new passenger. The sensor picks it up, opens the door, and the passenger gets inside. Once the fun is over and the passenger gets out again, you can see we are waiting for the road to clear. So as long as there's something in front of the sensor, it will not make the guy exit. But as soon as it's free, the track races and our visitor comes out and the track goes down again. I will make a separate video just for this module where we dive into the technical details of it. I'm still working on making it super reliable, but for now it seems pretty okay and definitely a step up compared to what we had before. The Pokecola has only had a small change. There's a gear inside that allows it to run from a module on this side and now I have just changed it so that it can run on both this side and on this side. For the parasol chairs, I have removed the sensor behind the ticket booth and replaced it with the old RCX sensor here on the track. This module was fairly unreliable because when people try to get out of the module, there were often people trying to get by at the same time, so we, you would have some conflicts here at the end or the entrance of the module. Now, since I've moved the sensor here, I can actually wait until it has been cleared for a while before letting people get out of the module. And I can also wait until there's a big space after a passenger before they get in, in order to make sure that there's not as many conflicts here at the entrance or exit. Interactive modules turn out to be super popular, and this module, Mr. Wally Isis, has been upgraded to be interactive. There's now a combined color distance sensor here. When you're in front of it, it activates, and then there runs a little animation inside. The animation is what we had mechanical previously, which is you activate it, and an ice cream gets served. And with that, we have a module here that is just a little bit more interesting than ever it is exhibited at a LEGO event. And just like the haunted house, this module runs using a Technic Hub that is running pipe bricks in order to make it programmable and also to allow these special sensors. The Coconut Shy runs just as it did last year, no updates, and it is super nice and reliable, so I really enjoy bringing it along, and it's also a nice interactive module. The Plane Flyer has been completely rebuilt. It now uses a Spike Prime hub, has the infrared sensor here to see when a passenger arrives, and it also has a touch sensor to feel when a plane is in the correct place. Let's turn it on and you can see it in action. And apart from that, it has four motors, one for the outer track. Let's get a passenger in. Then we have a motor for the inner track, a motor for lifting, and of course a motor to drive it around. The module runs pretty much like you have seen it before. It is just now much quieter and hopefully also much more reliable because Now it can run these two tracks independently and it is better at detecting when there is a passenger. And now that we have four passengers, let's see if the cycle runs perfectly and if we can get the passengers out again.
So the airplanes and the planets have pretty much carried over from the previous version, so they do sound a bit used by now. Now the passenger is waiting for the track to be clear before they get out. Let's see what happens if the track is not clear. Now when the passenger tries to come out, they will wait until there has been no one in front of the sensor for a little while. And once it's clear, they try to get out. Here you can see the old NXT powered plane flyer module. The old module used an NXT, which only powers three motors. And that was a problem for this module as the entry and exit could not be made reliable with this setup. Maybe I can do some programming to make it more reliable and move the sensor to the outer track like I did with the parasol chairs. But let's see if I get time to make this into a module again. The merry-go-round has been partially rebuilt. It now runs on Pybrix instead of the Lego software on the hub, which means I can turn it on just using a single button. And it has the infrared sensor here on the ground in order to detect passengers and make it more reliable with the entrance and exit. Also by having a separate motor running the inner track separately from the outer track. That really helps with reliability. Other than that, the cups have been updated. So they are now in a different color, a little more interesting to look at. That's not really that much more, but I might make a video where you can see everything that is going on underneath as that has been rebuilt. Balloon World was presented as a new module this year. It runs fairly nicely on uh, exhibitions. However, people don't really have the patience to see the illusion in effect. So it's not really that much of a popular module, so to say. It's mostly me who's having fun with that. Let's see if the illusion works. One person goes in. And another person comes out. The big wheel module is the least reliable module that I have. I wanted to update it this year, but I simply did not have time. It has a lot of trouble with people jamming up here at the entrance exit where they can't get out. And because there's only a sensor here, it's not really that good at finding out when there is going to be a problem. I can mostly just hear that the motor is struggling, and that's how I know that something is going bad over here. The Bouncy Castle ride has been upgraded this year. If you look closely, you can see that the walls are now mounted in a way so that they are moving up and down a bit when it is running. This is to counterbalance the mat in the middle that is lifting so that there's weight pushing down as it lifts up. And that really helps the motor that is lifting and making the jumping action. Big Time Price has been upgraded by adding a motor to it so that it doesn't have to rely on a neighboring module that provides power or a separate motor module because there simply wouldn't be space for it here, but it's placed right next to the roller coaster. The observation tower has now been made interactive. Wave your hand in front of the sensor here and it starts running. I decided to make this upgrade and make the outer section of the tower turn around instead of having the people inside move around. And that was because a lot of visitors did not really see that anything was happening inside. So hopefully this is a much more fun interactive module than what it was before. The only change to the racetrack is that I have moved the ultrasonic sensor a bit forward, making it easier for people to interact with it. I don't know if this is enough to make it fun for visitors at LEGO events. I'll see if it works, then that's cool. If not, then I have to change this sensor with something else to see if I can make it more fun to interact with. The roller coaster is the big new module or the big new ride for this year. The video of the roller coaster has turned out to be quite popular. So I'm considering making more videos like that in the future. The entrance has received a lot of updates. It has been rebuilt now with better lettering, but also it uses a Technic Hub instead of the LEGO Spike Prime Hub. It's running Pybrix, which allows me to make it interactive using the sensor on the outside. You can see now I run the inner track or the outer track to make people get into the theme park. And I also have a sensor on the other side. So if something is blocking, you can see the sensor on the outside turns red and we are turning off the interaction. So now you can't run it, but as soon as I stop, blocking from behind, we can start interacting again.
the tuck shoot has received a minor upgrade. Inside of the module you can see I have changed from just using this kind of tire to now also use these that might be more grippy. That makes the whole operation of the module more smooth and shoot! The coffee shop has now received the most dubious of honors and has become the most unreliable module that I have. It is unfortunately because of the randomized entry and exit mechanism that I also had to change on the haunted house. And that is it for the yearly update. As you can see, I made a lot of updates to the modules, but I have not posted that many videos. I'll see if I can change that in the new year, where I'm planning on both making a couple of new rides and see if I can complete all of the shops from the video game theme park. I'm also going to see if I can make some videos that are as fun as the one for the roller coaster. That video unfortunately took me almost a full year to make, which is not really viable if I want to make multiple videos a year, so I have to see what I can do about that. But that's a challenge for me to conquer, so I hope that you enjoy the channel and stay subscribed and then I'll try my best to make some good videos in the future. Take care now.